Chloe Crabtree. Today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite go-to side dish for adding some color to your dinner plate. This is perfect for a dinner party. Great thing about it is you can prepare them early in the day and all you have to do is pop them into the oven right before dinner. Uh, besides that, it's a tomato dish and if it's summertime and you have way too many tomatoes, this is a great way to fix them up for your family. I'm going to show you a recipe for four. Obviously you can have it for two or you can multiply it. I'm going to start with four tomatoes. I'm going to cut off a little bit of the top, but then the important part is I'm going to take my knife and cut a little cone out of the middle. You want a nice little hole in there. We're going to put some yummy stuffing in there and then we're going to cook these, okay? And there's no need to waste all this. You can chop this tomato up and have it for lunch there. Okay, I'm going to do that with each of these four tomatoes and then set them aside. I have my tomatoes all cut, little cones cut out of each one of them. I'm going to take a zip top bag, two cups of store-bought croutons. You can make your own if you want. For this recipe, I mean, I would not do that. It's great for making your own salad, but I wouldn't waste the time. Now, you can pulverize these in a food processor, but I like my um, chunks really pretty big. So I'm just going to put them in a Ziploc bag, take the end of my heavy rolling pin, and just break them up a little bit. I used a Caesar flavored crouton for these. Uh, I recommend anything with um, garlic in it unless you don't like garlic. You've got, you'll see you have some fine pieces and you still have some pretty big pieces. All right. Now I'm going to take these and dump them back into the bowl, these crumbs that I have them sitting in. all of that out there and to that I'm going to add one cup of grated Parmesan cheese the not gourmet stuff don't grate your own cheese and don't buy the fancy shredded you want this nice loose cheese if you use a higher quality Parmesan cheese for this you're just going to end up with um, strings of cheese from your tomatoes okay so you're going to go ahead and mix that in and to that, I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of fresh, finely chopped thyme, an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. And I've reserved a couple little sprigs, a sprig of thyme for each of the tomatoes that I'm doing. We're gonna mix this together doesn't look like much, I know. And now we're going to add olive oil. I'm going to add my olive oil a third of a cup at a time until I have the right consistency. So I'm going to start out by adding a third of a cup of olive oil. And what you want this to be is kind of like a paste. I'm going to get all those breadcrumbs and all that cheese moist. And you're going to add another third of a cup. And that should do us. Now you might find that you have too much or too little of this stuffing for the tomatoes depending upon how much how big of cone you cut out of your tomatoes. So you could stretch this to more or you might have to mix up some more stuffing for them. Okay, everything is all moist. And we're gonna bring our tomatoes over. In the meantime, I have preheated my oven for 350 degrees. I put a piece of parchment paper in a pan here. 
If your tomatoes are really round and don't tend to want to sit upright, take a piece of parchment paper, cut it, put it underneath the tomato, and set them in a cupcake or a muffin tin. That will keep them upright. But I don't have too much of a problem with these tomatoes. Got the nice cone cut out. We're going to take this tomato and fill it and press down. Press that filling into there all the way and even leave a little bit over the top. put that in our pan and we're just going to repeat that. I have all my stuffed tomatoes in my pan and I'm going to pop them into my 350 degree oven. 20 minutes in our 350 degree oven and here's our beautiful tomatoes. You can see how lovely these will look added to your dinner plates. I'm going to serve them up family style on a platter and then everyone can help themselves. This can be tricky sometimes they get really soft. move our pan out of the way. Here are our tomatoes and then those little sprigs of thyme that I saved earlier. I'm just going to garnish the top of each one. Just a little sprig of thyme. So if you need something for a dinner party adds to add some color to your table, to your plates, and you want something that you can prepare early in the day and all you have to do is pop it in the oven for 20 minutes once your guests get there or once you get close to serving dinner. Here's your perfect dish, stuffed tomatoes. <laughs>